you know christmas isn't about getting a tree this christmas has taught me that christmas is not about getting a tree getting decorations getting all that good stuff christmas is about the christmas spirit and this year christmas spirit christmas spirit was on a vacation jamming somewhere over there christmas spirit wasn't around this year i was able to achieve so many things that i've wanted to achieve in 2022 um i really expect to grow more emotionally hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you don't know who i am hi i'm nanaya thank you for clicking on this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe before i start it's been so long since i sat down to talk to you guys i missed <laughs> I, I really miss doing this okay guys so this is christmas with me episode three this video is going to be a sit down video and a vlog at the same time ask me how i don't know but it's going to be that This is how I spent my Christmas day. I woke up in the morning all excited, wished you guys a Merry Christmas, wearing my big bonnet. Merry Christmas, guys! Okay, guys, good morning. It's Christmas, the 25th of December. Yeah, obviously, because 25th December is Christmas, so why am I even saying the date? yeah it's probably nine i woke up at eight i was all excited to you know vlog it so, um our dog was hit she had her paw my dog is hit snow she had her paw so she can't really walk on it after i brush my teeth we'll go and check on snow because snow is not well and we went to see her and she couldn't walk on that leg right so she was walking on three legs but she was still running around but she's still running around i don't understand that though she's literally walking on three three legs and she's running running like running around so we tried to take care of her we were with her we gave her milk she was being a little bit you know as a time to drink it but she did if you guys want to meet snow i'm going to show you snow i'll probably do a pet tag or something i'm talking too much i'm sorry guys i'm strained from my point of story anyways i went back in and yeah we have a chef who usually comes to cook for us on christmas because i feel like christmas day is the day my mom wants to rest we were supposed to come and do that so i was looking forward to that so we went inside and then we ate cocoa and beans on christmas because the chef didn't come around so my mom was like oh there's lots of planting if we don't eat it it's going to get spoiled so uh we did cocoa and beans we did gobe and we ate gobe on christmas day my dad wasn't well on christmas day and usually he'd be the one you know trying to be like oh we'll go here we'll go there my dad wasn't feeling well my mom had to take care of my dad so that alone made the day very not happy and it's so funny how this christmas be really forced especially in my home because for the first time ever we got a christmas tree which alone in itself says something do you get me because we've never gotten a tree before we've never cared about you know the whole decoration thing but all in all at the end of it we do have a christmas do you understand we still have you know we mean usually do this thing exchange of gifts so we basically get a basket and then we put our names in it and then you pick the names out so the person you pick is the person you get a gift for so we do it as a family five of us but this year we didn't do that things were just not it this year so we couldn't do that which was sad i feel like this year my family we really forced to like do something for christmas right but you know christmas spirits didn't come okay regardless of you know christmas isn't about getting a tree this christmas has taught me that christmas is not about getting a tree getting decorations getting all that good stuff christmas is about the christmas spirit and this year 
Christmas parade. Christmas parade was on a vacation. Jamming somewhere over there. Christmas parade wasn't around this year. Maybe Christmas parade didn't come to Ghana this year. It was hopping around, hopping around, so Ghana and was like nah and jumped because i didn't feel the christmas spirit and i tried my family tried we bought a tree for the first time i'm not going to stop saying that because i thought this christmas was going to be amazing and i'm talking a lot because there's a lot of rage in me because it has pained me because this christmas was supposed to be all that on christmas day yeah, i was sad because the day was just not doing it but you know i was like okay i need to vlog and all that and I was looking forward to us going out for this party we usually go to. It's a Christmas party that one of my dad's friends usually does every single Christmas. He does it on the 26th, right? So I was like, oh, I can vlog the 25th. Be like, oh, I was mostly at home. And then the most part of the vlog will be on the 26th where we go for the party. Okay, so I'm like, okay, that's going to be fine. So I spoke to you guys. Um, on Christmas, I was looking like a mess my hair was in flat twists i was looking bad i just came talk to you guys a bit and then i just was on my bed pressing my phone trying to do something and that was the entire day that was the entire day so um the chef didn't come on 25th so he said he'd come 26th the next day came the chef came he cooked jollof soups stews so many things we ate not every single one of us on the table we didn't have like a family dinner but yeah afterwards my mom said we should go visit my aunt who just gave birth so we went i met my baby cousin cousin um she was she was such a ball of energy so pretty I'm going to put a vlog in here so you see it was nice so we came back home for the party yeah my dad still wasn't well so obviously he wasn't going to go for the party no one really wanted to go everyone was tired so yeah we didn't go for that so that was basically it so yeah nothing happened on christmas it was just like two usual days that you know random daily happenings happened so yeah that was how i spent my christmas this christmas was just something else the christmas period didn't visit ghana no it didn't like maybe it didn't visit my house tell me in the comments how your christmas went i know there was no christmas parade in my house maybe it came to your house maybe it doesn't like me but it likes you guys so surprisingly this year we got more christmas gifts than we've probably ever gotten we got like almost 10 hampers huge hampers 10 we got two four big chickens we got like some big goods we have you see the goods very fat regardless of all the efforts being put in christmas still wasn't it so yeah guys um i really wanted to do something big for you guys that's why i started the christmas with me series because i felt like this year was going to be good since we had decorated and all that but yeah christmas 2021 was even worse than christmas 2020 christmas 2020 i vlogged and it was beautiful and even at that time i thought it wasn't good enough because you know there was still the lockdown there was still yeah there was still the lockdown and stuff and there were lots of social distancing rules but i felt like this year there wasn't so probably it would be a better year to understand but it wasn't so basically that's how i spent christmas Lots of people have said that their 2021 was bad it was a very bad year for them and i'm like really because it was very good for me i was able to achieve so many things that i've wanted to achieve in 2021 my youtube channel grew i hit 1k subscribers on youtube on december 2nd 2020 and i went to school in january 2021 and I was in school for literally two weeks and my channel had shot up to like over 2k subscribers. Like the year just started so good and I was so excited because I started my channel May... I posted my first video May 10th, I think. And from May 10th down to December, I was able to achieve 1k subscribers. But then I go to school in January 2021, staying in school for just two weeks and then my channel is over 2k. 
and i'm like wow so yeah my channel grew in 2021 in 2021 my instagram grew i started a year with 2k i think i ended the year with almost 11k followers on my instagram that means over 8,000 people in addition which is beautiful for me because that was a lot you know besides that in 2021 my tiktok also grew a bit i've been posting on tiktok since 2020 i had about 100 followers yeah i had about 100 followers but i ended the year with a thousand i think 1.5k 1500 so that's beautiful too in 2021 i visited my hometown for the first time both my parents are ashanti so we visited both their hometowns we went to a so we went to Kwame, and i met a lot of family members and one asked oh, where are you from have you been there before i'm like no so i feel like it was a big achievement for me going to my hometown it was big like learning more about my roots my kinsmen and stuff in 2021 i turned 16 i turned 16 in 2021 and it was one of my best birthdays i didn't do anything on my birthday i was in school i got some gifts from my friends and it was just a beautiful birthday and i was so happy so yeah turning 16 in itself was big for me and i was kind of sad because i wasn't going to do anything i'm in school i wanted to do like a 16th party make a cute photo shoot create content for you guys but then nothing happened but then the week before my birthday i went to take pictures like at some place that i've forgotten the name but i'll put here if i remember i mean when i go and look it up and remember again yeah i feel like 2021 was a year for me where i bettered myself in 2020 i was broken i went through so much that was that year was the lowest point in my life but 2021 i slowly brought myself up i learned a lot of things from the mistakes i made in 2020 and the mistakes that i still made in 2021 um i learned so many things i learned to build myself up emotionally i went through certain things i made a lot of mistakes but those mistakes led me to you know finally be happy so yeah in 2021 i got a lot of friends in school i built really strong friendships i built my own you know circle that you know made me happy to get so i'm grateful for that in 2021 i achieved a lot of things academically i feel like that's a very important part of it all participated in a couple of you know things and you know came out successful so yeah i'm very happy about that so basically yeah don't get me wrong the year wasn't all sunshine and glitter and whatever there were some bad parts of the year um i as much as i need friendships i lost a lot of friendships too i lost a lot of people in my life not like to death they didn't die but then you know i'm not ending the year with the same people i started a year with but i feel like it's all good because whatever happens happens for a reason right so yeah that's all for 2021 in 2022 um i really expect to grow more emotionally because although 2021 i was able to get better with my emotions i still have some problems i want to try to be stronger and you know cry less because i thought the crying yeah, every year yeah i've been crying too much and i'm tired I want to cry less 2022 is a big year for me because this is a year that i'm going to write my wasi um this is a year that i'm going to go to university so it's a life-changing year for me that i don't really know when the wasi day to be but if it's shifted back forward you know it's complicated right now writing wasi and stuff whether i go this year or not i don't know but then probably i'm hoping to you know focus more on my academic life become even better and you know all that my youtube should grow more my tiktok my instagram all the socials that i am actually putting efforts in should grow more and yeah but for the rest i just hope god sees the things that i need in my life and just touches my life and you know makes all those things happen because most of the things that happened in 2021 i wouldn't have thought they would happen so i really leave the year to god and i hope it gets better I think that 
it guys this brings me to the end of my video don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you so much for watching this video if you watched to this point i love you so much see you guys on my next video and till my next video bye guys Thank you.